Welcome to Just a Fox and a Bear. Today we are talking about how to start your trip planning for Disneyland. And as you might have noticed, this is my first true video for giving tips for planning my trips. And this is how I start. I start by picking my dates. There are a lot of things that can play into this. If I'm going alone, do I want to go at Halloween? Do I want to go at Christmas, springtime, summertime, all of that stuff. And if you're going with others, you obviously have to work around their schedules, whether it be work or school schedules. But once you have a date range picked, that makes it a little easier because then you can start your budgeting and picking out your hotel. Budget. Yeah, that ugly word. Unfortunately, most of us do have to budget, whether it's for a vacation or for buying groceries. And for Disneyland, sometimes budget does factor into what you're going to decide for hotel. Hotel is going to be the one thing that you will be able to be the most, how should I put this, uh, budget conscious, because ticket prices are what they are. If the day you're going, the tickets are 169, the tickets are 169. Um, there's not much you can do about that, but there is a lot you can do about the price of the hotels. I have stayed at many hotels on Harbor Boulevard. Um, just to name a few, I have stayed at the Camelot Inn and Suites. I have stayed at the Castle Inn and Suites, Hotel Lulu. Um, I just recently stayed at the Candy Cane Inn. And, you know, there's a lot of difference in price. Some of them, yes, some of them, there is a great difference in the type of room that you're getting. Some of those hotels have been there since the 60s and 70s. There's nothing wrong with that. Some have recently renovated. The renovations are beautiful. And some of them have bigger pools, um, free parking, it just is one of those things that you have to look at when you're looking at the hotel. And there are a few that do have a resort fee. So please take that into consideration. In another video, I will go through some of those choices and what to look for and the price differences that you may see. I did recently post, um, as of about a month ago, my recent stay at the Candy Cane Inn with the hotels I went through the room and the grounds um, discussed a little bit about the breakfast room. Um, so please check that out. Um, but you are probably going to be walking if you stay at a Harbor Hotel. There is the art transit buses and those are an option. I will let you know that you will be waiting. Sometimes the wait that you're gonna do for an art transport from some of those Harbor Hotels, you could have already walked to the park in your time spent waiting. So there's a lot of stuff to take in consideration for when you are picking a hotel. And like I said, I will go through that on another video. Um, this is just kind of going over my general tips and um, trip planning, and we will start with the next one. Tip number three. Tip number three, and I've already mentioned this earlier, ticket prices. Ticket prices for Disneyland are what they are. Um, you can get cheaper tickets by the day if you stay more than one day. If you're just at the park for one day, whatever day it is that you're choosing, that's the price that you're getting. Um, when you purchase your tickets on the Disneyland website, it will ask you to pick a park that you wanna start at, whether it's Disneyland or California Adventures. And it will also ask you to pick the date because you do still have to make reservations. Reservations are what they are for right now. Hopefully in the future, it'll go back to normal with zero reservations. Um, but from what I'm hearing, that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. But the reservation system really isn't that bad. If you were doing one park a day, it's great. You're picking Disneyland, you're starting in Disneyland, you're working Disneyland that day. Next day, you're doing California Adventures you're set. Um, but for tickets, that is also where your flexibility as in dates might come into effect because if you do not want to pay the higher pricing, which is usually weekend dates or holidays, 
then you'll want to select weekdays because those do have some of the cheaper prices. But again, play with the pricing. Um, you can do that on the Disneyland website without purchasing. Play with, if I stay for three days, what does that make the tickets versus this? Um, see how it is with hotel packaging, for example, I mentioned earlier. Play with the different travel agencies as well as the Disneyland website to see how much a hotel package would be if you included the tickets in it. Because sometimes you get surprised and you get a pretty good deal. And thank you for joining me today with my travel tips for starting your planning for a trip to Disneyland. I will have future videos coming up on topics as far as comparing and contrasting hotel prices, how to handle Genie Plus, park hopping, those decisions when you're purchasing a ticket, and the fun topics once you get all of that done, how to plan your first visit in the park. Again, thank you for visiting Just a Fox and a Bear, and I wish you the best. Please like, subscribe, or comment. If you have any questions for me, shoot them over and I will try to get those answered as soon as I can. Have a great day.